All right, uh, shall I warm? Uh, first and foremost, I want to give out all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. And I'd like to give a double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to brothers out there, labor in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, this is uh, what you're seeing on the screen is an advert that I've been seeing pretty much quite a lot these days. And uh, pretty much it's a, it's a promotional tactic uh, that the British Army have put out there pretty much uh, to, uh, to attract individuals from uh from uh uh with different personalities to so to speak uh from different walks of lives you know to come and join the army okay and uh you know i've just got a few lessons a few scriptures to go into concerning these different armies all right because we're coming up now to a time of war okay the scriptures say uh 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 in Joel the third chapter which i've got on my list uh for the for you for, for these different nations to prepare for war all right because uh eventually uh because world war three is coming okay the lord is preparing all these different nations that's why you're seeing everything that's going on around the world because the lord is preparing all these different nations the strong nations the ones that have um, the capabilities for it uh, to prepare for war man okay because the world war free is part of that uh is part of the lord's judgment that's coming on the planet f okay um uh i'm gonna open up with this scripture it's uh, ecclesiastics 3 and 1 it says to every to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven okay so everything has a time and a season for it man okay when this empire was built okay this empire had a, had, had a beginning he had uh he had the uh the middle part of the empire and now we are on the decline of this empire man okay and the decline at the end of this empire is the uh uh is uh pretty much uh the uh is gonna be is gonna pretty much go out with a bang okay uh by way of uh those uh missiles all right that's how the lord is gonna put put an, an end to uh to uh to Esau's empire man to the end of uh the Edomite's empire okay uh matter of fact let's get Malachi one because uh you Edomites you so-called white people now you're known in the scriptures as uh as the Edomites okay or oh, the wicked okay job 9 and 24 tells you when the earth is given into the hand into the hands of the weak uh, of, of the wicked so let my get to the point is malachi 1 and 4 it says where as edom safe were impoverished okay because at some point at one point when after the after the roman empire was broken down man you edomites where we are pretty much uh uh we're nothing like we're pretty much like beasts man like any wild animals okay you are driven from people you are driven into the curves and this is where you get the stories of the caveman okay that's not that's not a history of millions of millions of years ago that's a that's uh that's a history of uh of your that's your history before the 1400s man the 13 1400 before the 13 1400s okay before you came back in power man it says uh we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places so you did return into power and you did build your your empire back up again okay like uh america which is the revival of the roman empire okay and it says that's if uh the lord of hosts and if you look up the lord of hosts the word host there I mean it means the armies okay it says that that's safe the lord of hosts they shall build and you did build but i will throw down so the time is coming now a time you've you've built your empire by the time is coming now where the lord is, is gonna throw down now okay it says it says they shall build but i will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness so the edomites you are the wickedness and you the empire on whom the lord is coming to throw down it says and the people against whom the lord have ended nation forever man if you look at the word ended nation man, it means righteous anger man forever and this is why the lord is going to take you out in the manner that he's going to take you out by man okay by way of, of complete nuclear destruction man okay 
So let's go back to this Ecclesiastes 6, 3 and 1 says to every to every to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the under the heaven. So the, the time the time of the wicked is come has 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 come and now we are at the end of the time of the wicked though they built and it's now time where the lord is now gonna throw down and it says a time to be a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted you're the ones that have been planted in the earth now so now it's time for for the uh for you to be plucked out of uh of the earth now man it says a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up man let's jump down to the point uh, verse 8 says a time to love and a time to hate we're in the time of hate right now man okay that's why you're gonna get all kinds of uh race wars uh on the lands of america and around the world man okay it says a time of war and the time of peace we're in the time of war right now and this is where you're gonna get uh all kinds of civil wars going on around the world until the time whereby uh, uh world war three actually kicks in in full gear okay because right now uh, you get proxy wars these top top nations fighting against each other via uh, smaller governments and so on and so forth but a time is coming where you the, the, the um where america and russia to give an example are gonna go head to head man where they're gonna actually uh gather their armies now to face each other okay and the lord is preparing you for that man a time of war and a time of peace okay so this is why now we're in the time of war this is why now you're seeing you're gonna start seeing a lot more of this adverts going around man okay uh what's that say snowflakes uh phone zombies binge gamers okay pretty much attracting all all kind of men or women from all different types of uh, uh of pe all different types of personalities man saying to them they have a place in their armies okay but this is all for the because oh this is all for the the heavenly father preparing you for war man okay eventually now all these different nations now they have something they, a, a law in their in their constituents constituents constituencies uh which are uh, if in, if any if all hell breaks loose they, they they would they would turn around and start grafting people man okay even the ones that don't want to sign up they'll just if you if you look healthy enough to go and fight in war they'll just grab you up man, and you take you to war man okay let's go to uh isaiah 34 and 1 it says come near ye nations okay to hear and hearken ye people so this is what the lord is saying to you man okay to listen man let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it for the ended nation for the ended nation of the lord is upon all nations okay the righteous anger of the heavenly father is upon all your nations man why because you you for you've done enough wickedness on the planet f for the lord to bring the judgment that he's gonna bring upon you now man okay the lord is gonna be justified in in completely destroying you in the way that he has man okay number one form first and foremost the, the one that one reason that the lord is going to destroy you for is because you because of what you did to the people the the, the lost people man the so-called negroes native americans uh hispanics mexicans so and so on and so forth man okay because of all the hell that you put on them while they were in captivity man it says for the ended nation of the lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies okay all their armies so all your armies the lord is preparing you man it says he he hath utterly destroyed them he have delivered delivered them to the slaughter so this is where all your army recruits and all your soldiers are going man okay to be delivered to the slaughter man okay this is where the lord is preparing you man so aside from all those benefits that they would offer you to join the army and uh the training that they're gonna give you and so on and so forth you know the weaponaries and the equipment that you're gonna use looking like call of duty is all gonna be in vain man because the lord is giving you that confidence in order to to go and deliver you to the slaughter man it says their slain also shall be cast out and their sting shall come up out of their carcasses man why because it's gonna be nothing but dead soldiers where you're going man okay and the mountains shall be melted with their blood and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved in this way uh, the new uh this when the nuclear 
uh, uh, the nuclear missiles hit. Okay, because the final part of, of your destruction will be by, by way of those missiles, man. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Okay, will you ever see that mushroom crowd? That mushroom, that mushroom, uh, mushroom uh, cloud? That's what that means, man. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a, as a scroll, and they are host, and all their host shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree, man. For my soul shall be burped in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. And if you look up Idumia, it means what, man? That's the, pretty much the Greek way of saying Edom. Okay? So Edom, number one, Edom, so-called white people today, you are the Edomites. Okay? And this is, you are the ones that are going to lead the charge, man, because the Lord has a pe has personal beef with you, man. Okay, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Okay, so the Lord has picked you up directly here in the scripture, man, because you're the ones that He's coming for the you're the top uh, nation that is coming for the most, man. Okay, so the sword of the Lord is filled with blood; it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and lambs and goats, with the fat with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Bozra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay, the uh, uh, the fatness with the blood of lambs and goats and and the, and the fat of the kidneys of the rams. That's the people in the armies, man, whom the Lord is gonna kill, man. Okay, you are the sacrifice that the Lord is talking about, man. Okay, that's just symbolic for the people that the Lord is gonna destroy, man. So for the Lord have a sacrifice in Bozra. Bozra was one of the capitals, uh, one of the cities of uh, of uh, of uh, of Edom, man. Okay, it says and the great, you know, which today represents uh, uh, America, man. Okay, it says and the great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay, what's the land of Idumia? It begins with America. Uh, it used to belong to the uh, to the uh, to the Native Americans, okay, or the Gadites. Okay, but Esau took it over now, man. They made it, you made it yours now. If you speak of America, you're thinking of white people today. You're not thinking about the Native Americans or the of, of so-called black people in America. Okay. It says, and the unicorns shall come down, shall come down with them, and the barlocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their and their dust made fat with fatness, man. Okay, again, man. Uh, the unicorns and the ballots, man, represents the people, man, whom the Lord is going to destroy, man. Okay, so for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense, or recompense, recomp recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Okay, there's the, the there's right there in that scripture. The Lord has given you another reason why He's gonna He's gonna bring all the uh, all the all the destruction that He's gonna bring on you. The controversy of of Zion. Okay, so today the people of the world don't even know who the actual people of Zion are, man. Who the Israelites are. Okay, even though we are out there with our 12 tribe sign telling people who we are as a people, they're rejecting us, man. Why? Because they do, they do not want us to be those people, man. Okay, let's go to another scripture. This is a Joel uh, 3 and 1. It says, for, be, for behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, okay, which the Lord is doing that now, I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, or which means Yahweh Shapat, okay, the valley of the Lord's judgment, okay. It says, and I will plead, so there's a, there's a place in the Middle East where the Lord is going gonna, is gonna to cause all you different nations to go to, go to men. Okay, you're gonna everybody is gonna is gonna march their troops down there, man. Okay, we were in, we just keep keeping an eye on the news and so on and so forth to find out what what to see what uh, what's gonna uh, drive all these different nations uh, down there, man. Okay, it says I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the Lord is giving you another reason why He's gonna, why He's gonna, He's gonna, He's gonna bring you into that destruction that He's gonna bring you into, man. Okay. And when He says all nations, man, it means what, man? Your armies. Okay. He says whom they have scattered among the nations, imparted my land, man. Because why? 
because by number one by way of slavery you scattered you we were being sold to and from and imparted out imparted my land why because that land is completely divided now man you got heathens that are constantly fighting over it man and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot okay and sold a girl for wine that they might drink man was being sold into slavery man okay casting lots for my people bidding over us okay let's jump down to the point verse 9 okay uh joel 3 and 9 it says proclaim ye this among the gentiles the Je who are the, which gentiles the heathen gentiles man it says prepare war and this is why you're seeing adverse like this around man you might see you might start to see this all, uh, on your social media places you might start to see them on posters okay uh, uh, trying to attract uh, different uh, all, all, all uh, trying to attack, attract even the laziest of uh, of uh, of, uh, of of people man even the laziest of people man the ones that just sit at home all day playing video games telling you you can go and fly a drone instead or you can get pilot training okay or you can fix anything on a submarine and so on and so forth okay it says proclaim me this among the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men okay let all the men of war draw near let them come up man so that's your that's what the lord is saying you right now to prepare for war man okay because not only are you gonna fight yourselves you're gonna fight the lord as well when he comes back man because when the lord comes back you're gonna have to fight against him or you will you will fight against him okay because he's not coming back here to separate the good people and the bad people and then take the the good people to heaven and then leave the rest of them on the you know everybody else on the earth when he comes back when he's bringing nothing but destruction and war man okay matter of fact give me another precept Uh, real quick uh this is uh this is revelation 19 and 11 it says and i saw heaven opened and behold a white horse the white horse represent the chariot men what in the world what you call a so-called ufo okay so and i saw i saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true who's that the heavenly the lord man uh yahawashai who the word calls jesus christ okay it says and in righteousness does he judge and make war okay in righteousness does he judge and make war so when the lord comes back in righteousness does he judge and make war he's gonna bring war with him man okay uh, back to Joel 3 and 9, it said, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Okay, what does it mean? Let your main focus be on, a, on, a, on your armies, on your weaponaries. Okay, because uh, your plowshares and your pruning hooks, those are farming, uh, farm, farming materials okay but the lord is saying you not to concentrate on that but concentrate more on your weapon that's why uh, each each nation the majority of the times their biggest budget is in the is in the military okay that's why donald trump now is he's got uh he, he wants to create a space force why because they are they are beating their plowshares into swords and their pruning works into spears man okay focusing more on anything that uh, on their on their militaries let the weak say i am strong man so even the weak nation let them say that i'm strong how by equipping themselves with devices that are, that can can, can can be devastating man and this is why you see a lot of the smaller nations today what do they have they have nuclear capabilities now okay so now they're able to pump their chest saying if you can fire a missile at us we can fire a missile back at you man okay it says assemble yourselves and come all ye ye then and gather yourselves together round about so the lord is saying to assemble yourselves man this is now you're seeing all these adverts why because you're you're assembling yourselves man see that cause the mighty ones to come down oh yeah oh lord let the heathen be let the heathen be wakened 
and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shepherd. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Okay. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Who is the harvest? You are the harvest, man. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. So now you've done everything enough. Uh, uh, you've done everything that you're supposed to do in order for the Lord to bring judgment on you. Okay, you're, you're, you're the harvest that is ripe that the Lord is coming to, to harvest, man. Okay, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decisions. So there's going to be all kinds of armies there, man. Okay, there's going to be all kinds of soldiers there, man. There's going to be lords and lords, man. For the day of for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their light, man, for, for, from that nuclear destruction, man, because it's just going to be nothing but black smoke, black smoke. Okay, it says the Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, man. That because the Lord is coming to destroy, to, uh, to deliver the elect of his people, man. Okay. Let's get to uh, the next precept. Uh, this is Ezekiel 31 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief priest of Meshach, and Tobal, and prophesy against them, man. Okay, Gog and Magog, well, those were Japhetic people, man, who lived in that land of Russia. They are, those are, they are long gone now. And who's living there? The Russians now. Okay, so this prophecy against them is speaking concerning the Russians. And say, that saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tebal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, man. Okay, why? Because the Lord is going to turn back. Because uh, the Lord is going to turn back uh, the Russians into their old ways. Funny enough, I uh, uh, I was working today, and I picked up uh, this Edomite guy uh, who's from the states, and we were speaking about Russia and Donald Trump. And the first thing he said to me is Russia is going. One of the things he said to me was that Russia is going back to their old ways. Okay, so the Lord, so the, even the people they are starting to see that Russia is going back to their old ways. Why? Because the Lord is bringing back Russia to their old ways, man. Okay, when uh, if you see, if you if you go back, uh, if you look, check out check out the history, uh, what Russia started doing uh, during World War Three, World War Two, man. Okay, pretty much they, they became the, the new uh, the new German man. Okay, they saw an opportunity to pretty much uh, take over man. Okay, it says I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army. Okay, and all thine army. So this this is what the Lord is preparing for the uh, for uh, for the armies of the world, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Okay, they are military gears, horses and horsemen, meaning what men? They are military vehicles, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, men, your guns, ammunitions, and so on and so forth, men. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Okay, it says, uh, Goma and all his bands, the house of Togama of the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee okay so all the armies of the world are being prepared right now for for the uh for, for the slaughter man okay he said be thou prepared and prepare thyself thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and he gave you a list there persia persia is what iran ethiopia and libya man of which these different nations this uh, ethiopia and libya they still have the same nations they still have the same names but Persia is Iran. Okay, just Google Persia in, in Google, man. It's going to give you Iran. Okay. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. Because Russia has their allies, allies. America has their allies. Okay. And be thou a guard unto them, man. Okay. So that's why it said, Be, be a guard unto them. So Russia is like a protector of this other uh, nation that are assembled unto, unto them, man. Okay, that's why if that's why it's a it's a very big it's gonna be a big deal if uh, America goes into Iran. 
okay it's gonna be a very big deal if america goes into iran why because not only are they gonna start war with iran they're gonna have to start war with russia as well okay right now there's uh there were some bombings in um uh, in the in in uh in uh uh what's that place uh one of the uh oil companies let me try and see if i can google it mm. yeah it's a it's a gulf of oman tanker attack there was an attack on the uh on the gulf of oman okay it's a petrol it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a petrol uh uh tanker and then the u.s have turned around and pretty much what they're saying is uh iran is the one to blame okay so it's gonna be a big deal it's gonna change a lot of things if if uh it's gonna change a lot of things if america actually goes into iran man why because it's gonna cause it's gonna bring it's gonna bring uh uh all these different nations uh closer to world war three